During my regular visits down here to the new Everton Stadium, I've often heard the phrase, just in time, being bandied about. Now that doesn't mean that we're sailing particularly close to the wind with regards to a certain aspect of the project, or that we're close to missing out on a deadline because all that is under control. Just in time is all about the delivery of the components and the materials to the site, everything basically that's needed to construct a massive football stadium of this magnitude. Understandably, it's an enormous project. It's potentially an engineering knot that needs to stay unraveled. And the task of unravelling the knot falls to Ben Townsley, the project leader and his team. It's something that I've never really considered, Ben, but the actual delivery of all the components is massive. It's huge, Darren. Uh, so we've designed this stadium with assembly in mind rather than construction. So what that means is we've got uh, a huge number of components that we need to bring together uh, and assemble. Um, and it's a more modern way of constructing buildings. But the result of that is that we've got, uh, within the structure itself, just within the structure, um, over 13,000 concrete components, over 14,000 steel components, um, and then add on top of that 9,000 deliveries of in-situ concrete and 3,000 deliveries of reinforced steel. Uh, and then you've got nuts and bolts and drainage materials and stones and aggregates and plants and equipment. <laughs> you can imagine there's an enormous amount of products and materials to bring into the site uh, in order to construct the construct the project properly so just in times uh, a term that's used across the industry and across um, manufacturing uh, for, for getting products to the right place at the right time uh, with all of those different deliveries and products coming in through the gate uh, we can end up with a backlog we can't end up with wagons uh, backing up down the street disturbing the neighbors things like that so we try and allocate roughly a two hour window of time to every delivery uh, and the aim is that, that uh, those components come in through the gate and within two hours they've been offloaded, installed and the wagon leaves site. So that's what just in time means. It's absolutely critical isn't it because if something's too early or something's too late the ramifications could be, it could be a little bit chaotic. Uh, certainly and that's the, that's the art of construction. Uh, every component has a different installation time. Uh, everything that we have to build and install takes a slightly different amount of time to, to actually do so. Uh, so we have to plan each delivery, uh, each each product through the gate meticulously to make sure that it, it attempts to fit within those two hours. Um, and it's important that if anything's delayed, we then uh, pick that impact up on subsequent deliveries, things like that. How far in advance do you have to plan these deliveries? For example, do you know what will be delivered here on the 20th of January or the 1st of March? So three years ago, when we started looking at this project, we sat down and decided on which days which products will come through the gate. Now you can imagine in three years, a lot of that's changed. Um, so we have to deal with change. We plan very far in advance, but then we have to deal with change all the way up to the point of installation because the wind may start blowing, uh, the temperature may change, all these things might affect some of our deliveries. So we, um, we work on a, a basis where we plan as far in advance as we can, so maybe two weeks, a week to two weeks in advance, we plan our deliveries meticulously. Uh, but then every hour of the day, we're monitoring that, moving some of the wagons around, speaking to some of the delivery companies, drivers, things like that, maybe delaying some, pulling some forward, that kind of thing. So it's, it's minute by minute. When you were speaking to me just a few moments ago, you were talking in terms of tens of thousands of different bits and pieces. Who counts them in? Uh, we have multiple logistics teams. Um, so yeah, tens of thousands of components, tens of thousands of big components. And just to give you an idea, the terracing that was stood on here, the nuts and bolts that are needed to put all this together, you know, there's over a quarter of a million different nuts and bolts and, and uh, bits of steel that, that come together just, just for this terrace unit. So um, it varies depending on which part of the project. When we've got a huge team, it's, uh, it's all about the team, it's all about teamwork. Uh, and without the team pulling, pulling together and uh, monitoring different parts of those deliveries, uh, we won't be where we are today. I suppose on a broader scale as well, you need to apply the same sort of principles to the actual workforce, don't you? You need to know quite a while in advance how many workers you'll need, when you'll need them, and where you'll need to place them. Absolutely, it's, a, it's an enormous team on this project. Um, there's about 500 people, over 500 people on the, on the site as we speak, uh, and that will only grow. So we have to be able to use our planning methods and uh, meticulous ways of understanding the programme 
to be able to schedule out what resources we need to be able to, to build. We're standing on the terrace now, we've got a stand away to our right, we've got the stand over there as well. Can you imagine quite comfortably what it will look like when this space is full of supporters? I think it'll look fantastic. Um, I mean, I've, I've stood in the building in a, a 3D environment, you know, we've been We've been looking at the design of this stadium, as I say, for three years, so I've, I've almost lived every part of it. But uh, I think the atmosphere you get in here, just standing here now, you can hear the steelwork reverberating as the, as the fellas are working. So I think it'll be great. I think the atmosphere will be fantastic. It's just over a calendar year, Ben, since you and I st stood somewhere over there as the first physical concrete block went in. The progress has been astounding, hasn't it? It, it has to think uh, ex almost exactly a year ago, uh, as you say, the very first piece of structure was installed. Uh, and within that time, uh, as of this next week, we'll finish manufacturing all of the structural components for the building. Uh, and very soon after, we'll be, we'll be installing those over on the, on the West End. So, um, you know, it's astounding to think where we've come in a year. It's fantastic. So just finally, are the more deliveries expected before Christmas? Oh, certainly we, we don't stop. Um, every day is the same, um, every day we've got more coming in. Uh, when we take into account things like uh, concrete wagons and stuff like that, you know, we can have between 60 and 80 deliveries every day, so we'll, we'll be working right, right up to the Christmas break. So when we hear the phrase, just in time, it's nothing to be concerned about, is it? Absolutely not, absolutely not.